to loading, depending on how it's classified, whether it's ductile or brittle, it'll fail along a plane of shear stress or along a plane of normal stress. For example, brittle materials like this chalk tend to fail due to normal stress. So if I apply an axial load, I would expect this to fail along a plane perpendicular to the long axis that is normal to the cross section. Whereas if I apply a torsional load, which results in shear stress along the axis of symmetry, then I would expect the failure plane to be 45 degrees off of that shear stress plane, which is where the maximum normal stress would be. And so understanding our stress state and our material properties, as well as the geometric properties, its cross-sectional geometry and its length, we can predict how and where the body will fail.